In a bid to demonstrate their readiness and also what they can do with their students, the newly technical university in the country, Miltimagai, has on Monday, 26th March 2023, presented a student who created a minibus to the institution and also to the country as a whole. The Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University, Professor Dr. Philip John Kanu, thanked the student for his idea and hard work. He also stated that, as an institution, they are looking for a way to improve the skills and idea of the innovator, and which could be useful and beneficial for the young innovator and the country as a whole. He further stated that the primary objective for His Excellency President Dr. Julius Malabio to transform the institution into a technical university was to improve on the technical skills of students and also to address the middleman level power in the country. Professor Dr. Philip John Kanu thanked the Minister of Technical and Higher Education, Professor Dr. Alpha Tijan Wuri, and also his deputy. He also thanked the Minister of Basic and Senior Secondary Education for creating the connection between the innovator and that of the institution. He also stated that the institution will offer the young innovator a space to further his study in the BTEC to improve on his brilliant skills and ideas. The aspect of uh, unemployment is something this government is very, very serious about. And the only way we can contain and we can control that aspect, we have to really target the young people. Targeting the young people that can come with skills and uh, we build those skills, they, they will have the interest. As we have one this morning that uh, we are going to let the public know, who we are able to see this through the intervention of the Minister of Technical Higher Education, Professor Alpha Tijan Uri, who actually called uh, the institution to see how best we can improve on the skills of this young man. The man went to the ministry one day, the minister and the, the, the minister of uh, basic education. I actually got the number from the basic education, but our ministry, they were really looking for one of the institutions to build the, the, the skills this young man has already exhibited. He might not be up to that level, but for the fact that uh, he has the interest of building uh, something that can move somebody from point A to point Z, for us, we see it as an area that we can improve on. While making a statement, the act the Congo Cross Campus, Reverend Engineer Rodney Jeremy Reed, commended the institution for such a move, adding that the reason for a technical university was to improve the skills of individuals with potentials and brilliant ideas. Like you like to mention, sir, we don't want to see people that are only theoretical, but we also want, also want to see people that are practical that can showcase their work. That is the essence of the technical, the technical university. And that is what we're going to do with MJM Samba. We want to partner with him in order to achieve the objectives of the institution. We've already started looking at where he has some shortfalls in terms of the type of battery he has been using. We want to upgrade that. And many other components, the dean of the faculty of engineering happens to be an electrical engineer, a sound one. And they are started in, the, in interacting with James, and of course we have um, Engineer Lamin, who is also very ex experienced in the area of the automobile. So they jointly look at it. We started sounding his mind. He wants to do um, a bigger mini bus that will shuttle students from college campus when it comes course, and that is what this nation is looking at. Making a statement, Engineer Lamin Kamara, a highly respected and a very senior engineer in the country, who have won many international accolades, who is a consultant and expert in the hybrid and automobile, said he is presently working with a university. Engineer Lamin Kamara assured the Vice Chancellor of helping the young innovator to improve the mechanical aspect of the electrical four wheel minibus. Technical University is practical. My son here, our colleague, have interacted with him. Uh, he was very, very much fascinated and we spoke and knew there is something there. And that's something we just have to learn. 
to make sure this university has the renowned name as we call it. We are the first in Sierra Leone, and this one is not going down, it has to go up. Once you are out, you know you can fix. That's the problem now. The, even with the lecturers we have, he knows. Every day I'm fighting with them. So if I'm talking about gearbox, I show you the paper, then you should show me the gearbox. Show me the sun here and plan it. The head of the department, Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Engineer Arnold Calon, and Engineer Francis Vandy, Dean of the Engineering Faculty, both commended the brilliant young innovator for taking such a bold step to showcase his idea, which they added that they will be focusing on its key performance indicators. In a statement, James Samba, a self-taught innovator, registered his deep gratitude to the institution for according him such an opportunity. As a non-professional, he promised to take the opportunity seriously and also to improve on his skills and potentials. Basically, I am a self-taught innovator and also an engineer self-taught, not professional. And I do acknowledge all of the things I've been doing, of course, do need to be good in the professional aspects and ways of which in school actually serve to be um, um, road friendly and of course user friendly for the benefits of us all. So like for the vehicle that I've recently done, is one that also needs to be improved upon. There are so many lapses on the way, being that I'm not a professional in any of the engineering sector attached to the entire development of the vehicle, but using the creative skill of thinking of an idea and also thinking of how it will solve a particular problem is one that I, I placed on the table in order for me to bring all of these ideas that are attached to building that particular vehicle um, together. So I would really appreciate to, to be part of the university, work with the university, and of course also get to learn many things upon which the vehicle and others that are coming after will be able to um, be in a perfect and possible way um, that it could be friendly for all and again for the world. Highlights of the program were a test drive by the Vice Chancellor around the Congo Cross campus and also an inspection of the mini bus by the university staff. For Star TV News in Freetown, George Elliott Sam reporting.